today we'll be looking at bugs in, from North America. Yeah. You guys like bugs? How do you guys feel about bugs? Insects. No! I don't like bugs! I'm a please! They're crunchy! It's disgusting. How would you know that, huh? A lot of people don't like spiders. They have arachnophobia. Um, but if you have arachnophobia, be rest assured there is only one spider that we'll be looking at today. And no, we will not be eating it, unfortunately. Spiders aren't bugs. They're insects. Aren't they? Well, anyways. I'm the professional here. Why is there blood here? Uh... Don't worry about that. That was from a... That was from a previous, um... <clears throat> the research, um... Experiment. Don't worry about it. Well, to be honest... I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't really specialize in bugs, but... I found some interesting looking bugs and I, I thought it'd be cool to learn more about them together. So we'll be learning more together. Yeah. Okay, I'm not an expert in bugs. I lied to you. I'm sorry. Yeah, so these are called rubber ducky isopods and uh, they're actually pretty expensive. It's like $25 for one bug. And uh, they're also not very big. Um, they're known to be pretty small. Let's see. And here's a bigger picture of a uh, rubber ducky isopod. And they're very cute. Uh, so these these types of bugs are very beneficial because like I was talking about earlier, they help with decomposition. And I like to build terrariums. So if you guys know anything about terrariums, they're usually an enclosed ecosystem, which means that um, you got the water cycle going on in the enclosed jar. And you also have plants going through their natural life cycle, which does include dying and decomposition. But if you don't have anything in your terrarium to take care of this decomposition, what happens is that a bunch of mold will grow. You don't want this, but thankfully, these bugs like to feed on mold and dead leaves. And um, yeah, they're very beneficial. Even some people who have uh, pet frogs or pet lizards or pet snakes, they'll oftentimes um, have a bioactive setup. What that means is uh, bioactive. So there's plants that help take care of waste and there's also bugs that help take care of waste, the plant waste and the animal waste. Um, so yeah, it's pretty beneficial to have, like, uh, these types of bugs in your, uh, terrariums, vivariums, aquariums. No, not aquariums. They can't swim, probably. <laughs> uh, this is the house centipede, uh, also known as Scutigera coleopatrata. Aha. Uh -huh. Freaky fast! Yeah, these guys are beneficial. They eat cockroaches, which is great. Good! Beautiful. That's what I like to hear. I hate cockroaches. What would you guys rather have? Okay, let's say, hypothetically... It's the middle of the night, you're getting up to get a snack, you see a giant cockroach, or... You could see a giant centipede, which one? You'd probably prefer to see the centipede, right? Although, I'll admit, it does look... Pretty freaking creepy. But they're more beneficial! Now this is why knowledge is important. You might see this bug and be like, holy fucking shit, kill it! But, if you kill it, you might disrupt the balance of the chain and then you'll have more cockroaches, huh? Which one would you prefer? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Maybe next time we could look at some uh, deep ocean creatures. That'd be really interesting. Or, you know, there's just so many things. I think nature is like the coolest thing ever. There's all of these systems that are going on around us. Going on around you, right now. Like probably just a few feet away from you. There's a whole... There's a whole biome, a whole Minecraft biome that's just like functioning on its own. Everything has like its own part and, you know, it's pretty brutal, which is, it's, it's kind of messed up sometimes, but it's interesting to learn about. Yeah.